What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down how you can be a college wide receiver. We're going to be talking about some of the things that college coaches look for in wide receivers on film, and some of the biggest mistakes that guys will make with their film. So I hope this video helps you guys out. Hope it could teach you a few new things. But also, fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you guys would like a daily gym schedule to follow for four months, check out that very first link in the description below for our 16-week wide receiver gym workout plan. It's four months of daily gym exercises with videos, or excuse me, picture examples of each exercise, exact sets and reps broken down, all for you guys to follow. So check out that very first link in the description below. If you're interested, let's get started with this video. So first thing that a college coach is going to look for is explosiveness. They want explosive playmakers. So this is Brandon Innes. He's a five-star wide receiver out of Broward County, Florida. And he's one of the most explosive guys in this upcoming um, class of 2023. On film, you see him all the time making explosive plays, running explosive routes, and that's what it takes to be a college wide receiver. So this, this specific example, this is at some camp or All-American Bowl, I guess you could say. He's got inside shade off man coverage. So how you guys would run a post route is you guys would attack the outside shoulder of the DB, get him to flip his hips and be able to slip underneath. Now, this is a much easier thing to say than to actually do because you have to have explosion at the top of the route to be able to come to balance. So let's play this full speed again. You see how he goes right at the outside shoulder and he makes that hard cut. This hard cut that's what college coaches are looking for with your routes. They want to see explosion at the top of the route. They want to see smoothness in and out of the break. I think, you know, him going to Ohio State is a great place for him to go because he fits the mold for one of their wide receivers. You know, you got Marvin Harrison, you got Chris Olave back before he went to the Saints. Like it's there, there's something that those elite guys all have in common. An explosion and explosive plays is what the number one thing they look for on film. So your first few plays, it should not be, oh, you got zone coverage, he's off. You just run like a post and you round the break, but you you got to catch and maybe you scored for a touchdown. That's not what people want to see. College coaches want to see explosive plays. They would rather watch a minute long highlight tape with explosive plays than with like a five minute long tape where you're just throwing every single catch that you've made in there. So let's play this again full speed one more time. Great example of the explosion that some of these top tier guys have. Okay, so now next example here, this is going to be a route from Devontae Adams. Now, I wanted to show this example because this is another thing that college guys will look for on film, and that's you making the tough catches. So, so many guys, they, they I, I can't stand it when a recruit will make a highlight tape and they they got plays where they're catching like a dig over the middle and they're just wide open, you know, and sometimes, you know, maybe that's the only play you have, but like, those are the plays, those are the catches that a college coach expects you to make, especially if it's a division one level coach. If he's watching your tape, you have to make sure that you stand out and making the tough catches is how we do that. So this is an example of that. Let's watch Devontae Adams. He's running this fade route and this ball is thrown. He's got tight coverage and he's able to make that catch. That is one of the best plays that you could include on your highlight tape. Catch in traffic. What happens if the DB is on me? Do I completely lose myself? Do I completely get jammed to the sideline? Do I quit on the play? Or do I finish the play? Because a lot of times like wide receivers that they want at the next level are guys who are playmakers. They can make plays when it's tight coverage. They can make plays when it's a tough situation for them. You know, catching in traffic over the middle, a jump 50-50 ball, whatever it might be. But these are the situations that you want to put on your film when it comes to your hands. Tough catches, diving catches, Catches, catches in traffic, catches where you're taking a hit. All of those things will make you stand out to a coach. Let's play this again full speed one more time. I wanted to include that. I know Devontae Adams is in the league, obviously, but again, you see time and time again high school recruits making this mistake. They put just average plays on their tape. You need to put those plays that make you stand out. Explosive plays and um, the hard catches where you're not just wide open and catching a routine slam. Let's play this again full speed one more time. Great job by Adams attack and leverage. But again, DB plays this well and he makes that tough catch. Okay, so now Next thing that I want to talk about, this is Devontae Smith. Now, a lot of times people will say anytime that I bring up college wide receivers, you know, they say, oh, well, they're just the guys who are the biggest and the fastest, right? They're, they're the guys who are, you know, they pass the eye test, you know, they're six foot four, they're fast. Those are the guys that go play division one college ball. Now, Devontae Smith is a great example of a guy who is fast, but he's very small. You know, he's not, he's not six foot four, I don't think. I think he's probably decently tall. I think want to say like six one or six two probably, but he's thin. He's, thin. he's probably like 165 pounds, 170 pounds, and he was at Alabama. So for those guys that are out there, those wide receivers who are out there that are undersized, you have to make up for that with your football IQ and with your route running IQ. That's something that a lot of recruits do not understand. A college coach wants to see somebody who can run efficient routes, who does, who is able to keep timing and somebody who is able to keep spacing. So like if you're at a college camp, right, they don't want to see the guy who like, okay, we got inside leverage. And like, let's say you have to run a post, right? They don't want to see the guy who just attacks this guy's leverage 
DB keeps his leverage and then you break it off, but you end up catching that post like on the opposite hash. That's not a realistic route. You have to showcase to them that you can run realistic routes in a game scenario. You can maintain spacing, but you can also do it fast to maintain timing with your quarterback. So let's watch this example from Devontae Smith. He's running a 10 yard out. So when he runs this 10 yard out, or maybe it's like a sail route, I guess you could say, he doesn't just take off and go at the outside shoulder, then break like a lot of wide receivers would do. Because a lot of guys will just, oh, he's inside shade. I'm just going to go run the route. But we got to understand, and this comes to having that high route running IQ, he's inside shade for a reason. He's inside shade to protect the inside and to force me to the 12th defender on the field, which is the sideline. So I need to threaten him to where he doesn't want to go to move him to create more space for my QB. And I, that's called spacing on the route. That's a realistic route. So let's watch what Devontae Smith does right here. He attacks his leverage inside. He stems him, gives him a move. And you see how much space he gives that quarterback to throw him open. That's a quarterback friendly route. And that is a smooth route. That's what college coaches want to see, especially if you're that undersized guy. Now, listen, if, you're, if your goal is not to play D1, like let's say your goal is just to, just to freaking play college ball, right? You want to play a Division three, Division two. you don't care. NAI, you don't care. You just want to get it paid for. If you're undersized, this is what's going to make you stand out to all those lower division schools. You know, if you're like a short guy, say you're maybe like five foot six, you know, you're not the fastest guy in the world, you know, it might be tough. I'm going to be real with you. It might be tough to get any kind of D1 attention, right? You got to be the best player around with those attributes, but that doesn't mean that you can't get your school paid for. That doesn't mean that you can't take that burden off your parents or your family financially by understanding how to run routes and showcasing that on film. Because listen, I'd, I want a guy who gets open. That's how I'm looking at it. I don't need the guy to pass the eye test. I don't need first team all airport. I need first team all, all league. I need to win. And the best guys are going to play. The best guys are going to play the, the next level in college. So if you're undersized, this is what you need to focus on. Let's play this again, full speed one more time. Great job stemming to the inside by Smith and then creating some separation on that out. All right, fellas, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. Always appreciate the feedback. It's always great to hear from you guys as usual. And again, fellas, if you would like a four-month wide receiver gym workout plan with daily wide receiver workouts you can do in the gym for speed, explosion, the works, check out that very first link in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.